My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 72 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash IZ. In this episode, we shall be looking at functional groups and archive group. Functional group and archive group. The reason I am dedicating an episode just to define and explain functional group and archive group is that throughout your study of organic chemistry, you keep hearing functional group and you keep hearing archive group. So, anytime the name comes, it should not be like a religion or a pattern to you. It should be like a lifestyle or a norm. In the previous episode, I explained homologous series. Anytime you hear homologous series right now, it should make more sense to you. Let me give you something like this. If you have something like this, C2, H5, O, H, this is ethanol. Ethanol. Ethanol is a member of the alkanons or alcohols. Ogogoro. This is a member of the alcohol. And this is the formula for alcohol. Now, from this formula, we should be able to look at the structure of alkanons. Here, we have two carbons, right? And here we have five hydrogen. Then we have O and H, oxygen and hydrogen. If we maintain the tetravalency of carbon, the fact that carbon can carry maximum of four bonds, and we have two carbons here, it means alkanol will be something like this. Two carbons. Then, the first five hydrogen, if one hydrogen is here, and one hydrogen is here, and one hydrogen is here, this guy is complete. One, two, three, four bonds. So we can't do anything here again. Then the remaining two hydrogen, we put one here, and we put one here. That is five. Then we have oxygen and hydrogen. If we say, okay, one oxygen here, then one, hydrogen here. What do you notice? We are beginning to give carbon more than four bonds. So this is wrong. That is to say that the oxygen and hydrogen are either together or they are something like this. Carbon goes to oxygen and this oxygen goes to another hydrogen. Why? Unlike hydrogen, oxygen can accept two electrons. So, one goes here, one goes here. You also see that oxygen is now trying to catenate, form a chain. Then, this is what I'm trying to show you. Do you agree with me that this guy here is completely different from the structure we drew on that homologous series, where we did something like this? Here, we have carbon and hydrogen throughout. But here, you see, there is another element right now, which is oxygen. It goes to show that this guy and this guy cannot be in the same family. For here, the property or what we can see is carbon, single bonds throughout, and hydrogen throughout. But here, carbon, single bond, hydrogen, 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 then we have OH. This made here and here to be different. So that takes us to functional group. Functional group is atom, radical, and bonds common to a homologous series. This particular homologous series is the alkanos homologous series or alcohols. 
We shall see more of that in the next episode. Any alcohol you see, we definitely have the OH group. This OH group is what defines alkanos or alcohols. So, every member of the alkanon must have OH group. So, this is an atom or a bond that is common to a homologous series. This homologous series is the arcane's homologous series. All arcane's must have carbon with single bonds to hydrogen, no other element. These are arcane's itself. Although, there can be substitution of arcane's. But this is arcane for you. Now, going back to homologous series, we said that each member of homologous series differ by a CH group. group. If this is an alkanol, the next member will definitely have one carbon and two hydrogens more than this member. Yes, the other will also have that. That will be the difference. Which means that the next member of this guy now will be the one with three carbons. One, two, three. If this guy has three carbons, here will be one hydrogen, here will be one hydrogen, here will be one hydrogen, 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 and OH. So, C3, H, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C7, H7, O, H. This O, H is together. That is the functional group. That is the identity of the organic compounds. And the difference is two carbons and one carbon is the difference, two hydrogen, which is a CH2. So, if you are to get anything from this class, it should be that functional group are atoms, like a particular element, radical, or if it is bond that are common to homologous series. For arcanes, single bonds are common to them. For arcanes, double bonds are common to them. Every arcane you see, they must have double bond. For arcanes, triple bond is common to them. That is the bond there. Atoms, radical, that when you see a particular series, a particular element in an organic structure, you know that this must belong to this family. And it is the functional group that determines the chemical properties of organic compounds. That is what determines the reactivity of organic compounds. Now, in the next episode, when you hear functional group, you see that, okay, it is this particular element that we used to know that this compound is in this family. It is in this homologous series. Now, archai group. This thing you are seeing, carbon with single bond throughout to hydrogen, they are referred to as arcanes. And this is an arcane with two carbons, A-L-K-A-N-E-S. And any arcane with two carbon is referred to as ethane. And what is this ethane? You see that this is c 2 h 6 The general formula for the arcane homologous series is C A A 2 A plus 2. C A H 2 A plus 2 is the general formula for the arcanes. So, if I tell you that an arcane has 10 carbon, what is the structural formula of that arcane? So, now you hear arcane, the general formula is C A. H2N plus 2. And N represents the number of carbon. So, if an arcane has 10 carbons, the structure or the formula will simply be C, N, number of carbon, 10. Then, H2N plus 2. 2N is 2 times the number of carbon. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 plus 2, 22. That is H22. So, this is arcane with 10 carbon. C10, H22. This guy is referred to as decane. Something happens. When an arcane loses one hydrogen, it becomes an archive. 
So instead of pronouncing the name as A, it becomes I. This is Ite. Once this Ite lose this hydrogen, it is no longer C2H6, it becomes C2H5. And it is no longer Ite, it becomes Ite. When methane loses one hydrogen, it becomes methyl. When decade loses one hydrogen to be C10, H21, it becomes decay. So, arcane is CN, H2N plus 2, while arcai is CN, H2N plus 1, which is obviously shortage of one hydrogen. Now, I want to tell you something. Don't tell anybody. The secret between me and you. Most compounds, most homologous series, most organic compounds are formed when arcanes lose this hydrogen and this hydrogen is replaced by another compound. For example, is this not ethanol? If we remove this O, what do you think it will be? This is just an ethane. So, removing one hydrogen from Arcane or from ethane, we have ethyl. So this hydrogen is replaced by OH, and this changes the game, changes the functional group from arcane to ethanol. Most or all of the functional group, they are simply arcane being replaced. One of the hydrogen in the arcane being replaced by any compound to form something else. So you see that soon, and homologous series will make a lot of sense to you. So, ladies and gentlemen, functional group is our uh, atoms, radical, or bonds that are common to homologous series. And they determine the chemical property or the reactivity of the compound. Meanwhile, archai group are referred to as the shortcut is arrow, or the general mistake is arrow. They are formed when arcanes lose one hydrogen. So, when propane loses one hydrogen, it becomes propyl. And it is that hydrogen that is lost, it's replaced by other metal, atoms, bonds, or radical that we form various functional groups. And that is the basis for homologous series for naming of organic compounds. Because you need to take note of the arrow group. When you see arrow, it shows that if you have something like this, arrow OH. This is obviously the general formula for Akano. Here is C2H5. It is losing one hydrogen. Now, this hydrogen that is lost is replaced by OH to give you ROH. So, this is an archive. This is OH. This archive can be short or very, very long, depending on the number of carbons. If you found anything helpful in this episode, that is good. I'll be very, very grateful. I'll be very, very grateful. Rather, then for the next episode, we we'll continue. But I'll make sure you understand everything about organic chemistry. If you've understood the last two episodes and this one, then you will not have problems understanding the next ones we shall be looking at. See you in the next episode. But don't fail that, or don't fail to know that the requirement for this class is the flash learner jam application. You must get it to play with questions, to play with features, to follow the competition. It doesn't require internet to work. See ya.